My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got one of those holy grail cars here and it comes with documentation. This 1959 Chevy Bel Air has its original 348, 335 horsepower, tri-power big block under the hood, original four-speed transmission, 411 posi rear end. And all the document, documentation I have here says it was born that way. We have owner history, we have the original finance contract, we have photos of the restoration before, during, uh, and after, we have notarized letters in here uh, from the original owners. Uh, so this is an incredible, rare find, and the restoration is impeccable. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read a lot of the uh, specs and look at all the detailed pictures. That's where you find price tags on all of our cars for sale, along with a monthly finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car uh, has about 250 miles on it since it's been restored. It's truly one of the finest restorations I've ever seen. Uh, very, very impressive. And I think it's been done now for about 10 or 15 years. It looks like it was finished this morning. Uh, body was off the frame. We have pictures of it, just a bare shell. And the floors are all pristine metal. The braces, the floors, the rockers, all of it uh, is, is really, really nice. Painted the red oxide primer. The entire frame and chassis was stripped down. It's smooth. It's not pitted. It's just a nice satin black chassis. The front end completely rebuilt, all the steering components, ball joints, bushings, springs, shocks. Uh, it has the correct spiral shocks. That's what they would have had back then. Uh, same thing in back, all the rear suspension, bushings, springs, shocks, all redone. Uh, correct dual exhaust system, it has the mufflers and resonators. Uh, the brakes, drum brakes all around, they're completely rebuilt, and all the brake lines, e-brake assembly, it's all been redone. Fuel system is new, uh, restored from the fuel tank to the carburetor. Uh, you could literally eat off the oil pan. You look up at the motor, it is spotless. Uh, it has a correct 1959 uh, T10 four-speed transmission. Uh, supposedly, they used a lot of NOS parts. I guess the flywheel and the clutch were NOS. Uh, drive shaft is restored, and it has a 411 Posi rear end in the back. And everything under there, down to the, the cotter pins and clips and clamps, it's immaculate. <clears throat> uh, the body is also pristine. Uh, and I talked about the before pictures, the, the before ugly pictures. You see the old 348 tri-power sitting under the hood. There's an old picture. Uh, the seat had a split in it, and there's the four-speed sitting on the floor. Uh, so that helps verify its originality. It's repainted its original Roman red color, but I assure you it looks better than it did when it left the factory. Uh, speaking of factory, even underneath there's yellow markings on different parts. Those are assembly line markings they even duplicated. So anyway, every square inch of the body is straight as a rifle barrel. All the gaps are right on. I love this uh, bump right down the middle. That's cool. And the wings and the cat's eyes. But anyway, not a dimple, not a wave, not a, bless, a blister. There's no... No previous body work that's starting to show or bump or come through or anything. This is all beautiful, pristine metal. The roof is pristine. All this is outstanding. It fits spot on. The rocker panel's smooth. This is all incredible, all spot on. I bet if you went and looked at a brand new Mercedes, the paint's not going to be this nice. I don't see any issue at all with the body or the paint for that matter. I'm really looking at the body right now. 
not a dent, not a problem or a crack or an issue at all. And I have not found a flaw in the paint. I have not found a nick or a chip, which doesn't mean there isn't one, but I don't see it. And it is polished like glass. It's red glass on this car. Every piece of trim, the rockets, the stainless moldings, the emblems, all the stainless around here, the base of the wiper arm, the window frames, door handles, all of this is restored probably better also than it was. This is polished like chrome. All of the glass is crystal clear. And I do believe that's original glass. Actually, one of the pictures, it had a cardboard package. One of these, either the front or rear window is a new NOS window, um, but that's crystal clear. Yeah, the anodized trim, the lenses, the emblem, all of this is beautiful. And I mentioned earlier, they call those cat's eyes. The hubcaps, the poverty rims with the hubcaps, it's all pristine. Has reproduction, uh, Silvertown BF Goodrich tires. Side, <clears throat> side glass is crystal clear. Got the bow tie mirror on one side only. This is the Bel Air. This is a stripped down car. This is the early muscle car, folks. Uh, up front, of course, has T3 correct headlights. The grill, supposedly, when the guy, second owner, bought this, the grill was hanging on the wall on a nail. Uh, the original owner took it out and put in the bars, the custom bar grill that was available back then. So that's the original grill, and it looks like it was just out of the box. Apparently, uh, that grill was taken out the first or second week he owned the car. Uh, so that's the original grill in mint condition. So why don't we uh, open it up? Yeah, this glass is crystal clear. Shuts real nice. Let's open it up, show you what it looks like inside. Inside the trunk looks like new. It's all painted red. It's got the stickers. It has a limited slip differential sticker. Uh, two-piece trunk mat, it has a matching spare tire with the restored rim. Look down here, the latch, the housings, the wiring, <coughs> all that looks like brand new. So huge trunk compartments. This is truly one of the best restorations I've ever seen, and I've literally grown up here doing this. My father is one of the founders of the Volo Museum. I was so impressed with this car as well. I haven't seen him this excited about a car in a long time. Now the interior is very uh, basic. It's the Bel Air. Uh, you can see the door jams are pristine. All the weather strips are replaced. Try and catch on top the door panel. There's cross flag emblem embossed into the material. Generally the cross flags were for the 348 engine. So I don't know, I'm not the expert, but that's a Bel Air door panel with the 348 emblem on it. I don't know if that's something extremely rare, uh, but I, I thought that very interesting. But all the knobs, handles were redone. Uh, this has a padded dash, which was an option. They did a beautiful job. I think that might have been added. I think it was a metal dash originally, uh, but it was a factory option. They also put carpet in the car during the restoration. The car originally had just the rubber mat. Uh, but all the instruments, steering wheel, uh, heater controls, cigarette lighter, glove box, the light works. Everything's pristine. I tried the radio. It works. This is what makes it so cool. The four speed on the floor. And just real quick, we do have some photo. We have all this on the website. Uh, the carbs, the tags off the original carbs, those numbers should verify they're correct. The original dealer was sold new at. Uh, this would have been on the license plate. Uh, here's the original finance contract, Clifford Schrader. Uh, all of his registrations up till 2001 match that name, so we own the car that long. We have affidavits, notarized letters uh, by Cliff Schrader that this... Uh, this car, this VIN number, was ordered with the 335 horse, 348 tri-power standard transmission from Grotewood Chevrolet. Um, this car was featured in a Hemmings uh, article, which we have copied here. 
Um, we got miscellaneous original literature. And then we have the photo album of the restoration. Some of the pictures are on the website. Uh, but there's the original 348 tri-power motor sitting there. Uh, and there's the four-speed transmission. And actually, it did have a padded dash. Eh, I didn't notice that at first. It is padded. Uh, so there you have it. Great documentation. So the seats are upholstered and the reproduction upholstery. They're all rebuilt. Beautiful shape. The back is restored just as nice. And it has the same 348 cross flag logo. Maybe that's a big deal. Maybe it's not. It just it caught my eye and I found that odd that that logo would be on a Bel Air door panel. Um, Headliner, tight as a drum, light works, visors are redone. The inside is just as pristine as the outside. Uh, if you laid on your back and looked up under the dash, that's even like new. Again, this was stripped down to a bare shell. I've seen restoration bills. Matter of fact, we have a purple Dodge Dart right now, and the restoration bill was $205,000. Uh, I could imagine this car costing every bit of that for the restoration. And if you had to go find parts, where would you even get them for this car? Okay, how do I open the hood? I just opened it. Here's the 348 I keep referring to. That's on the 348 cars, the cross flag with the V. Now, this is a 348 big block, which they had with a four barrel. They had them with the tri-power at 315 horsepower. Then they had a 335 horsepower. I've seen it referred to as a NASCAR motor, uh, solid lifter engine, uh, and it's restored like new. It's the original motor according to all the numbers and codes everywhere. Uh, the right air cleaner, all the right GM hoses and clamps, uh, Delco battery cables, uh, the hinges, the firewall, Every grommet, every nut and bolt, washer bottle, uh, everything is like pristine in here. It doesn't look aged. It's not, you know, dirty or tarnished or greasy. Uh, the steering controls, uh, the metal surfaces, everything is just beautiful. Yeah, hood insulation, your new latch assembly. And I was just reading a little more. The exhaust is NOS. The hubcaps are NOS. There's a whole list of parts that were new old stock. And that's where I say the restoration on this car could exceed what that Dart cost to restore. This is an amazing car, got everything even shuts like new. There's not going to be this opportunity again. To have this setup, this combination with this quality is one thing. To have that binder full of documentation that tells the story, that's a whole, that brings it to a whole nother level. This could go away like a Van Gogh. I mean, this is art to a serious collector. This could go in a collection and never be seen again. So uh, if this car intrigues you, I really suggest go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman as soon as possible. I gave you, you just drop the hood and it clicks shut. Uh, I gave you my impression. If you have questions, ask. They'll help you the best they can. Uh, they can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance this car at volocars.com. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.